All right. Logarithms. All this particular question is asking you is this. All of this means is the following. 6 squared to that equals what? Well, what is 6 squared? 36. There's your answer. Your calculator won't really help you on this one is you have to do 6, recognize it is to that power, and so these do 6 squares, 36. Over here on this one, go to your calculator and do the alpha window option 5. And what will happen is you'll see log with the base thing here and here. What you will then do is the following. You can see it is base 7, put in 3, and then hit enter. Then you have to arrow over to do that, and if you do that, you'll end up with point zero five six five or choice H. Okay? And we have one more question about logarithms. So, oh, it was a drop the calculator there, or the eraser. That was alpha window, option five. Plug it in, plug it in. And let's look at our one other logarithm problem. It says, which of the statements is false about the graph of Basically, y equals ln x. Well, the thing you need to remember is this about the graph of ln x. You go to calculate and graph it, it will look like this. Hmm. Looks like to me there's an asymptote right there at x equals 0. And it's going to go... So basically, it is increasing for x greater than 0. Well, that is true. As you read left to right, it is increasing. So this is true. It is continuous for x greater than 0. And I believe that is true too. It doesn't like it's continuous. It does have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And it is symmetric at the origin. No, this is the one that is not true about that. So and if you graph it on your calculator, you can see that it is not symmetric. Those are the questions that deal with logarithms on the test.